What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Really quick before we get started, I just wanted to clear up a couple things as more new information comes out. Uh, first up, with the Season 5 preloading, Activision Assist has confirmed that preloading is only going to be for the PlayStation 4 users as of now. So, um, sorry for you Xbox and PC players, but only PS4 players can preload. And as of now, every PS4 player should finally be able to preload the game. So, the way you do it is by going into your app, checking for updates, and it should be there if you have not yet installed the 1.24 update. And the next regarding tanks in Warzone, I know we saw a little trailer yesterday, and at some parts we were able to get a glimpse of tanks on the airport. But then after, I got to thinking that maybe these tanks were a part of Ground War because the Verdansk International Airport is going to be a brand new map added to multiplayer. So tanks may not be coming after all, which if that's the case, that's a really, really good thing because I think tanks in Warzone just do not mix. I think they'd be extremely overpowered. And then lastly, I want to point out that it does look like we are going to be getting a five-player team LTM coming to Warzone because at one part in the trailer, we were able to see a total of five players inside of this one helicopter, which I think five-player team sounds absolutely hectic. I really cannot wait to see how five-player teams are going to work out for Warzone. I think there's going to be a lot of different high-kill gameplays going on there. And then also, we might be getting a new customization item in the form of smoke trails on vehicles, which I noticed after re-watching the trailer a couple times yesterday after I uploaded my video. But I don't really see too many people talking about this. Um, but yeah, it looks like we might be getting a new customization item in the form of different smoke trail colors for our vehicles. And it just, I think it's pretty cool. I think it adds more fun to the game. Hopefully, they don't nickel and dime us for these things. Um, but yeah, smoke trails are going to be a new customization item, hopefully. And the next up, guys, a couple of Call of Duty influencers and people within the community are receiving more of those little cards that showcase a teaser for something Call of Duty related. Um, this time, they now show the inside of Stadium. And I have footage on screen from my buddy, Prestige. Just key go check out his Twitter and YouTube down below in the description and he does go around some of the various points and interests inside of stadium which are the food court the west entrance the west field the club bar the north entrance the east parking lot the executive hallway and the executive suite number two now I haven't found a video where somebody does a full rotation so there may be more but yeah those are the main points of entrance that I was able to find um, as they you know showcase the little car that that showcases uh, stadium there so uh, stadium is insanely, insanely huge on the inside. And then, of course, you can also fight right in the middle if you choose so, or hang out at the very top and pick people off from above. Stadium looks so beautiful all around, and definitely there are going to be a ton of people dropping there within the next couple of hours as this update comes out. Um, if you guys want to see a virtual tour of Stadium yourself, Call of Duty has released a site called WarzoneStadiumTour.com that allows you to check out all of Stadium. Um, but as of now, I think the link is broken. I think we crashed the site, boys, but uh, hopefully it's going to be up shortly because because I really want to see the full interior of Stadium. And then lastly, guys, Games Radar did an interview with Jeff Smith, who's the design director over at Infinity Ward, and he talks about how Warzone was built to be a standalone game from the very, very start, and it's going to evolve and tie into other Call of Duty games as they come out in the future, which we did kind of know because a couple of Infinity Ward directors have briefly teased that uh, we are going to be getting something similar to that when Warzone does come out, but this is actually the first time ever that a Infinity War director or employee has actually um, discussed the future for Wars for Warzone and how it is going to be tying into other Call of Duty games in the future. Um, rumors about the Call of Duty 2020 game, which is supposed to be Black Ops Cold War, is going to be tying into Warzone somehow. But as of how that's going to happen, we really don't know. Some people believe that there is going to be a live event Easter egg that is going to destroy Verdansk and then open up a brand new map. But but as of now, you know, those are just rumors. We have no way to confirm that. So the only way we can figure that out is with time. So, uh, but that would be really, really awesome. I do think that as a new Call of Duty game does come out, the Warzone map is going to be changing all around. Maybe they may add a, or keep a few points of interest that were popular. But pretty much for the most part, the Warzone map is probably going to be changing as a new Call of Duty game does come out. So that sounds absolutely amazing. I'm glad that they're not going to just trash Warzone. They're going to keep it up. They're going to keep 
it alive. I just really hope that they don't get too crazy with the Warzone updates and leave the other game modes behind in the dust and, and untreated like multiplayer or if there's a survival game mode like Zombies. I hope, hopefully that's not the case, but yeah, Warzone is going to be a thing. It's going to be live as more Call of Duty games do come out. It's not just going to be tied to Modern Warfare. So guys, that's going to be it for the video. I know we talked about a lot of content regarding Season 5, and to be honest, we've just really touched the surface of what's in store for us. There is still so much more that we don't know about within this update, and I cannot wait to figure out more about Season 5 and what's in store regarding Call of Duty 2020, because that's a whole entire discussion in itself. But I am going to be covering all this stuff, guys, so make sure you check back on the channel if we get any new information about that. And I'm going to be uploading new changes, tips, that kind of stuff regarding Season 5, uh, starting today and also leading up to the entire week, so come back to the channel. I'm also going to be live streaming leading up to the release of Season 5. I can't wait to do that later tonight, guys, so um, if you're interested, then please come back to the channel for that. And yeah, let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. What are your thoughts about Season 5 and these new updates? And leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. Thanks for watching. Love y'all so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see y'all later.